Short-lived climate forces or short-lived climate pollutants are substances emitted to the atmosphere which have both air quality and climate change effects. So air quality in terms of affecting human health or the environment and climate effects in terms of weather systems and global warming. The most important short-lived climate force of pollutants which we're interested in at the moment are black carbon um, and tropospheric ozone. Black carbon is the product of incomplete combustion of fuels such as diesel or people burning wood in homes in Africa and Asia and that goes up into the atmosphere and can be a local problem but it can also be a regional problem in the dry conditions for example in South Asia before the monsoon comes. Tropospheric ozone is different, it's called a secondary pollutant, and that's because it's formed in the atmosphere from precursor pollutants in the presence of sunlight. And the most important of these is methane. And methane can be in the atmosphere for up to 10 years. And methane and black carbon are the real targets for the policy actions which are being considered at the moment. Stockholm Environment Institute has collated the best available scientific information to feed into the scientific and policy debate. So we've been trying to hold meetings over the last six years to build the consensus around the issue. This um, led to UNEP, the United Nations Environment Programme, requesting Stockholm Environment Institute to coordinate an integrated assessment of the problem. Well, for black carbon, the things you can do are you can control the emission of black carbon, you can improve the efficiency of combustion. So, for example, you can have improved cook stoves in domestic situations which burn the, the, the fuel wood or the fuel being used more efficiently. In Europe, where we like to burn logs for warmth now, you can have more efficient um, stoves to burn the logs or you can have alternative technologies such as pellet stoves which vastly reduce the amount of black carbon. In the transport sector, you can stop the black carbon from coming from the cars by putting on particulate filters on diesel cars. That's a major measure that we're recommending, and that's in line with cars going up to Euro 6 standard, the European standard, which is slowly being taken up by the rest of the world. For methane, which is a, a, a precursor of tropospheric ozone, there's basically three areas that we want to tackle. That's leakage from transportation pipes, leakage from coal mines of methane, we, um, leakage of methane from the agricultural sector, from animal husbandry, for example, and also leakages of methane from the waste sector, both solid and liquid waste. And a lot of the times this methane, when it's captured and reused for energy, can be very cost effective. Well, following the launch of the two assessments last year and subsequent meetings organised by SCI, it became clear that there were leading countries that were interested to take the issue forward. And in February this year, this culminated in the launch of a global initiative called the Climate and Clean Air Coalition on Short-Lived Climate Pollutants. And this was launched by Hillary Clinton at the US State Department in uh, February last month. 